pull your chest up, but then squeeze your chest in. <laughs> and then ultimately. That might be a bit heavy, yeah. Right, cut that out. <laughs> oh, you're trying this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. A couple more. But, do you know what? That's it, that's it. Good job. Feeling a bit heavier today. Boy! So, let me just get out my straps. If anyone's got a bag for the gym, you know how much shit you can just collect in the bag? Like, <laughs> I have a wrapper. Don't know why that's in there. <laughs> and some chewing gum, just for if I need fresh breath, you know, when I'm training. <laughs> Fuck it all. Chest and arms today, obviously you've seen one of these sessions before. We're just kind of doing a lot of like, just training videos at the moment. Just gonna put some more kind of content out there later down the line, a little bit of a, we're gonna do some posing and stuff like that. But for the time being, just gonna focus on getting some training content out for you guys, just so you can be see a little bit of an insight as we go through prep in regards to how it changes, whether it changes that much. Because to be honest, we don't really change that much, do we, Con? No, well, as little as possible. Yeah, so keep it yeah. as, as intense as possible and try to reserve as much muscle as possible. Yeah, as exactly. That's it. Um, because what grew it will keep it. So, you know, people that change their training loads and loads during prep, you know, they might not keep the muscle as well as they did in their off-season or as much as they grew in their off-season. So it's good to kind of keep things the same, keep the heavy stuff in, keep the volume in, that kind of thing. So. Um, so yeah, we'll just take you for a session as normal today and then if you have any questions or anything, pop them in the comments below and we'll get them answered. Right, ready? And up! And up! Come on, choke, come on, choke! And up! That's it, and up! Choke, come on, choke! And up! And up! Sit there, lie back. Right. So it depends on the position of my arms. So like here would be more like pec minor. So if you come to a door and you're like arms are up here, you're going to be getting like pec minor a little bit of the lat just from the way the pec minor inserts and originates. If you come down here, it's going to be more pec major. So it completely depends where Connor's kind of stretching me to. So it's like a like a just standard stretch. So he'll hold it and maybe apply a little bit more pressure when I exhale. But throughout it, we like to work for the entire range of movement within my shoulder joint just to stretch it out. Um, because I've been bigger, like my mobility's not been that great. So it's always good to have the stretching in. Obviously you saw in the first one about, you know, how much stretching we actually use. Um, but it makes a massive difference because it's another form of tension within the set. Hence why you saw me do however many reps it was on the first set, but then such few reps on the second, still going to failure. But because we're adding in the other tension, it's already, I'm still being put through a failure point or put through some form of tension that makes it like adds another level to the set I guess um, but yeah it's really really good um, but yeah it's just depending on where the arm is depends on what kind of tissues you're stretching I guess and up Keep the 27s, no stretch this time, right? Yeah. We're going to a drop as well. Okay, that's okay. So we'll go 27s straight into the 20s. Right? Okay, yeah. Squeezing in hard enough to do the pulse and feel this. Ah, so come on. Squeeze. Most out of every rep now. Let's go. Come on. Good. And push. Push it. Push it. Push it. Like that. Yeah. Everything you got. Let's go. Come on. Squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Everything you got, everything you got, come on. Come on, come on. That's good. Right, let's go, come on, let's go. Squeeze in, squeeze in, come on, come on, come on. Come on, 
God, are you trying? That's it, relax. Last squeeze now, ready? Yeah, ready. Everything you got. Last one. Let's go. All out. All out. All out. All out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we just finished that set off with an isometric contraction. Another thing that you don't really see much nowadays, really underrated form of like intense fire, I guess you could call it. Where you finish the set and then you're creating that intention by coming forward. Obviously try and squeeze your elbows together because that's when you get the contraction and just hold there. If you've got a partner like I do, do exactly how Connor was doing it because that's kind of like the plane of motion you want to be hitting when you're doing pressing, whatever like that. You want to be squeezing your elbows together in every kind of chest movement. Um, but yeah, really underrated form of adding up another level to the set. Um, so yeah, give it a go, see what you think. I, I like the quick paced kind of training um, just because, don't get me wrong, like I used to train like two, three hours and I just, that's what I, I did at the time, like when I was powerlifting and stuff. But I'd much more, I'd much prefer to be more efficient with my time and have quicker sessions where the intensity is much higher than have sessions where I'm just sat for ages. Plus, it keeps me cardiovascularly fit. Like during COVID, when you were training at home, and then when I came back to training with Connor, the difference was ridiculous. And you know, if I treat, if I train with someone else with Connor, it kind of shows. I'm not bigging myself up, but it kind of shows that people do spend a lot more time resting than they actually think. Whereas, like if we're in and out, you know, I stay fit. It's better. I like a bit like Dana and Bailey. Like, I like to keep the pump going. I like to keep training and stuff like that. So that's kind of why we keep rest periods so short because adds another element of intensity, keeps the pump going, keeps you going, keeps you focused, and you're done in an hour, in an hour. Yes, everyone kind of is different with their training, but I think if you're spending three, four hours in the gym, then you know, are you getting, are you getting what you want out of that session instead of, are you, or are you spending 90% of that session just sat down? So try, like, that's how I've always trained. I like this method of training because I find that, even though I love the gym, even though I love bodybuilding, but after an hour, I'm like, I lose focus, so, Getting in, getting it done, smashing it out, doing what I need to do, achieving what I want to achieve in that session, and then done. You know? <laughs> yep, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Hey. Up. Punch it, punch it, punch it. That's the way, Max. Good, good, good. That's it, all the way through, all the way through. Good, 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 good. good. That's it, fill them together now. Push that one away. Finish it, finish it, finish it! Oh, nice, nice time. Oh, oh, that's good. Very good. Right, oh, definitely sweat. Good. Let's go. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, push. All the way through. Come on, all the way through. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And that's good, like that. Good. 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 Yep. That's it. In the end, let's go. And down. Two shakes. That's it. That's it. Two seconds, and we'll be straight in. Good. All the way through. That's it. Come on. Four. Three. Two. One. So nice to work. You know, yes. The more I go through prep, the bag in my clothes at the bottom. <laughs> I'll just be like a ghost in clothes soon. <laughs> yep. Yep. Come on, finish it, finish it, finish it. Come on, again, let's go. Go, go, come on, come on. I'm down. Sit. Say that. That's the way. Come on. Do it again. 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 Yep, again. Four. Three. Two. Out. Very good, very good. So, we're now going to move on to a bit of dumbbells standing with the wall support there. All right? Yeah. So, keeping your weight back into the shoulders then. Yeah. All right? Sweet. So, grab a tens when you're ready. Again. Nice. 
That's the way. Let me on. Let's go. Good. Again. Come on. 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 And stand off the wall. A little bit of swing if you need it. Bend the knees slightly. Don't swing in the body. Bend from the knees. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. Again. Yep. Stop. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five. Four. Remember, pulse from the knees. Come on, let's go. Ah, well, that's the way this one. Very nice. Very nice. Good. Close to the mix now. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, no, no. What? <laughs> All our fine exercise. Uh, <laughs> Could have been so pumped. Right, so on this one, you stand. Stand slightly back. Slightly lean back. Yeah. Chest aimed right up, basically. And you're going to squeeze in with the chest and you're going to alternate curls. Oh, okay. So it's going to be a third one of the mix. So do the other two first and then we'll. So. So squeeze in with this and then. So we're doing that first, yeah? No, third. Third, okay. Yeah, so other two oh, first. Oh, yeah, so. Yeah, that's the sense. other ones. I know. I like that. <laughs> yeah, great. These wall ones, forgot about them. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Good. That's it. All right, let's go. Yeah, that's it. And then one more, one more at that. Let's go. That's very nice. Quick shake. Oh, fucking yep. Yep. That's the way. Come on, give me five more. Yep. Four. Three. Two. And one. That's it. Nice. Good. Put them back. So then, and then alternate, yeah? Bit, so it's heavy? Bit, yeah. Oh, I cut that out. Oh, you're going to try <laughs> on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know, we've put some effort in the set. <laughs> Good. Let's go. Good, again, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Go, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey! Yeah, finish it, finish it, give me. Come on, let's go, come on. Oh. Oh. That's nice, man. Right? Oh. That's nice, man. 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 Come on, come on. Let's go. Again, let's go. Up. That's it. Come on. Again, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And down. Straight. Again. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Certainly on the scope. Yep, 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 yep. Finish it, finish it, finish it. One more each time. Let's go, come on, let's go. Finish it, finish it, finish it. That's it, one more, one more, one more. That's the one. Very nice, very nice. It's actually laughable, you know. Do you know how much that does not really hurt? Yeah. It's no longer moving, but I'm really, really trying. It's hilarious. Right, so, you know you're just an inch. Yeah. Squeeze. Yeah. Go, go, go. Squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Ah. Nice. Ah. Yeah, so, the idea of having like one arm going at a time is because this arm holding in is always squeezing. So, one is always doing something. I'm not just holding it there like because it's there. I'm squeezing in with this one, moving with this one. Squeezing with that one, moving with that one. Just because, like I've told you guys many a times, from powerlifting, I've always been a really good bench presser, but I just, I always used to slug up. So this allows me to really think about the activation in my chest. And it's just, again, adds another level of intensity. We could just stand and do one arm all the time, but instead we'll add that squeeze in and just alternate it. Just because it just, again, adds that another level of like, tension or intensity to the set um, and it's like a nice way we've done our heavy pressing we've done our triceps work and our biceps work move back to chest 
and then we most likely would either do a press or go back to arm work. Um, and like you guys already know, none of my sessions are the same. So one week we might do a block of chest and then arms. One week we may do what we've done today, so chest and then arms as we go through, then go back to chest. Ultimately depends, um, but flying me on chest days, your triceps are a secondary working muscle anyway. And obviously biceps will be there for shoulder stability due to the origin insertion of your biceps. Um, that's why it's, you saw on the wall where we had my shoulders pinned back. That allows a nice stretch through the chest and a nice stretch through the pec. And then we're getting the biceps involved as well. And then we move obviously to another chest exercise where we're in a kind of rounded shoulder position, crunching in, squeezing through. And then we'd, like I said, most likely go to a press or another arm movement or another stretch movement because we're in this position on the squeeze, contracting nice and hard. And then, like I said, we'll see what goes next, but it's most likely going to be a press or another arm movement. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice way to switch, switch things up um, and just go from there. And it's nice to keep good fast pace because if we did press, 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 which we have done before in my off season, it's really good, but fatigue is going to be generally creep up a lot higher. So if we do chest, triceps, biceps, it allows me to just slightly recover for chest. Yes, again, it's going to be utilized, but it's not going to be directly hit. So that's probably mainly the thought process behind this session I mean it's ultimately down to what Connor wants but we kind of work off the same idea but that's probably why and most likely why we kind of approach sessions like this well it is why we approach sessions like this so uh... oh good geez. good <sighs> nice yeah. ah. good set your hips back a little bit for this next set yep a uh, bit more a bit more that's it. There we go. There we go. Double. Let's go. Come on. Open you up a little bit more now. That's it. Come on. There it is. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Three. Come on. Two. Ow. Oh, yes. Three. Four, yes. Yep. Come on. Four more. Four. Good. Come on. Three. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Push. Finish it. That's it. I'm back in. Perfect. Good. Nice. Drop set time. Pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's got the feet. Let's go. Yep. Yep, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, yep. And one more, one more, one more, come on, let's go. Yep, push, push, push. Up, oh, nice. Got it. Ah, yep, oh yeah. Come on, let's go. Yep. Good. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Finish it, come on. Ah, stand up, sit down. Oh. Good. 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 Yeah. Come on. Again. Yep. Come on. Come on. All the way through. Yeah. Through and squeeze. Through and squeeze. Yeah. That's it. Again. Up. Squeeze through. Squeeze through. Squeeze through. Squeeze through. Good. That's it. Again. Ah. And push. 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 That's it. Nice. Very nice. Switch this handle here right down at the bottom. Yeah. And just the top half of the contraction, right? Let's go. And squeeze. That's squeeze. Squeeze. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nice. That's it. And hold. That's it. Lock it and squeeze. Squeeze. Don't relax. That's it, come on. Ah. Go. One more, one more, one more. And go. Finish it, finish it. Ah. Very nice. Right. Oh, yeah. And that's what's done, very oh. nice. Oh, fucking nice. Yeah, so, so that's chest and arms wrapped up, uh, another session closer to the show. Um, really, really good session today. I did a lot of soft tissue on my kind of upper uh, sort of well, chest and shoulders yesterday just because I was a little bit stiff, but today was a really, really good session. Obviously, you saw the stretching in there anyway. Um, saw loads of different forms of kind of like uh, bicep and tricep work, and obviously we did the pressing today for shoulders, so 
two presses and then obviously the kind of fly variation that you saw earlier with the squeezes and the alternates and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, like I said earlier, we did the chest, arms, kind of chest, chest, I guess you could say. My arms were really overpowering, so I didn't really need to do too much work. Um, we literally just took a picture and they just look a little bit ridiculous. So we only kind of touch upon them like once a week and it's only like a small amount just because they do overpower my shoulders. Uh, and at the end of the day, bodybuilding is about being symmetrical with your physique. So point kind of pummeling an area that responds really well and making it just a main focus area of my physique because that's not what we want. We want everything to be nicely in proportion because women's physique is exactly that. I mean, every bodybuilding category is that. So you just need to make sure that every area of the physique is nicely balanced, flows well and symmetrical. So um, that's why we only kind of did a little bit on arms. Obviously, we kind of smish quite a lot together in one, like that giant set, but it means it's done, flushed. I've got enough. I got what I wanted out of that arm work and then obviously moved over to the sort of chest work. Um, but yeah, like I said as well, like I'm quite a good presser, but um, it's all about being very aware of the activation of my chest because I can just move weight, um, not necessarily about thinking about it. So, and again, like we want that really nice top line, um, especially in like side triceps and chests and well, in every kind of pose really. So we want to make sure that we've got a nice popping chest, nice shoulders, nice arms, and just make sure that everything flows really well. So that's kind of why we did a mix of um, kind of chest and arms and stuff and things like that. So yeah, really, really good session. Um, I am now coming up 10, ten and a half weeks out from um, my prep, or from the show, sorry. Uh, and things going really, really well. Uh, started the prep at like 80.5 kilos. I don't know what that is in pounds, it's on my head. Uh, and now weighed in at 73 and a half. So um, five or six weeks in, well, 16 weeks out. Well, I started at 16 weeks, now 10 and a half. So however much that is. Um, nice little drop, obviously added in a few things now, so everything's kind of coming into the mix. Um, all the exciting stuff's coming into the mix. Obviously head over to my Instagram for a little bit more um, sort of in-depth look into what like, my cycle is and stuff like that. Um, but really exciting, um, obviously like going to do some posing in London on Wednesday, so keep an eye out for some content with that and posing with uh, Leisha Gelsey over at GAF next week. So that should be really good. And Leisha's always, always done my posing with me. I did a lot of work with her last year. Um, and she transformed my posing. So really excited to have her in my corner again going into the season. Um, but again, there'll be some content coming with that. So if you're looking for posing content or how I approach my posing, then that will be it, it will be coming soon. Um, just because some people have asked about it uh, and it's very much wanted. So uh, keep your eyes open for that. But feeling really good. Sessions are really, really good. Feeling much better in regards to confidence because you're able to be working around like injuries and stuff. I've now started doing Pilates with a lady called Hannah Maynard who's based in the Stroud area works for prime practice and it's all well and good having lots of soft tissue and massage and stuff but if there's a muscular imbalance somewhere which I probably uh, generated over time from weight differences and growing and stuff like that I want to make sure that everything is firing as it should be neuromuscular wise and obviously just muscular wise as well um, so that's now in the mix but just really exciting stuff going ahead um, and just need to focus on ticking the boxes and getting it done daily and just enjoying the process like I say to everyone if you push the, if you push the hard days away they'll only get harder if you embrace them then they'll get easier. Okay, prep's never easy, but it's very much something that is, uh, will be worth it in the end. But uh, thank you for the, um, the likes, shares, subscribes, and all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. Appreciate the support as always. But uh, let me know what you want to see in the future if there's anything specific. But uh, like I said, remember to like, share, subscribe, and follow my Instagram, smallmighty20, to have more updates on where I'm at with prep. Thanks, guys.